it is not by my works, it is all by the grace of God. And yami you may be on yamina why yami say ye a ya dumaraqua. Papa, we bless you so much for the gift of another beautiful day. Thank you for gradually, oh God, leading us through the month of May too. May your name alone be exalted. Thank God for Friday. We bless you so much for the gift of life. Thank you for healing us, oh God, spiritually and physically. Thank you for being there for us always. So your word says that you never, never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, precious Holy Spirit. We pray today too that you have your way in our lives. Please speak to us, oh God, to understand you better. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you to the program. How do you understand the word of God? Brethren will take our devotional reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verses 17 to 27. Let's hear the word of God. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Bethany was only a few kilometers down the road from Jerusalem, and many of the people had come to console Martha and Mary in their loss. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary stayed in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live and will live even after dying. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never, 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 ever die. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she, she told him. I have always believed you are the messiah the son of the of the son of god the one who has come into the world from god hallelujah other four ya kain ya eh love no mpacho nya bra no kain ne nyina e de be si be bia ya kain afei okodu ona lazarus e free mu dada na wewu na mata ti se yesu a ba kromo wana se wa ba no e no dim ni ka eko shia no na ka kama yesu e do bethany na oko shia no no e no ka che ne se o ra senka wo ha Na we o we wu kro be nyankwa na o ka che ne se obi bia ra o jimi di na o ti mi mu no o nwu da mata wu jidi o si an irade mi jidi ma de te se ma ji wedi e britin tin na mi ji wudi se wu ni o nyankopon ba no ni a o nyame asoma no se o mbre wi ase no hallelujah other four, Onya mi asemuni. Yesu Christo se ono ni mu sorry ni enkwano. Mata ye ni mse di asemuni eti ya kusiye vye ye se. Mata de ni ni da da chen na ansu Yesu e ye ni prem preyi. Yesu ye ni honi hona e nyani Lazarus. All that I'm saying is that we all know the story of Lazarus that 
Jesus raised Lazarus back to life. Martha was thinking about the last day that in the future, definitely his brother will wake up. The moment everyone that has died in Christ wakes up, hallelujah. But brethren in the Lord, she did not know that Jesus was talking about the noun. Jesus was talking about the noun, the noun. Jesus wants us to know that he is a living God and that whatever he says will come to pass. Martha said, I know my brother will rise up in the last day, but I believe that whatever you ask God, God will grant unto you. Hallelujah. Martha was saying something that she had no idea about. Other four, na Martha, eh, can be be on Ranka Sapon and I dream also. Also, mean him seven yan or ben yane, a rea brenum mumudi, and also, would dear mean him say be be a baby so young cop on with Jano or be ye a dear mound. Sabosan the yes with ya shaying. Say, be 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 a baby so any demon or be money papa ya money. Now, so son, someone are quack or ye and send be a cake a dear my ye. A druce as I see a giddy ye juma. Yen shada and kai se a ya dear yesu e kafase se ya asem. Se ye bi bie mono. Yen fan yen pie bo. Ye bi bie yen fan kwe radienim. Ma yen fan yen wan den en kon enko du be bian sa na. Ye dia ko nyanko pon chen. Peter no mu di oma wan den ko ye wabana yesu ti omu kudu no mu enko si omu shre. Brethren in the Lord all that I'm saying is that. Martha said this without even realizing that she was say she was speaking the mind of Christ. Brethren in the Lord, Jesus says that whatever we ask in his name, he will, he will tell his father to do it unto us. But most of the time when we are in crisis, most of the time when we, we are in troubles, most of the time when we go through persecutions here and there, we forget that Jesus has said that whatever we are needful of, we should go to, the, to him in prayer and that his father will do it for us. Today... The word of God is quickening our faith. The word of God is quickening our faith. One thing we have to realize is that faith is an essential tool in the Christian's life because faith is part of the fruit of the spirit. Faith is part of the spiritual gifts and faith is also part of the weapon, the armor of God. It means that faith is very, 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 very important in the christian's life and so let us speak the word of god upon ourselves let us prophesy the word of god upon ourselves and let us believe every word that jesus has said every word that he has sent his prophets his evangelists his, his apostles his teachers his pastors to speak unto us those who have been called by the lord let us listen for that is the word of god concerning us Every promise in the Bible is ours. Every chapter, every verse, every line, and every word is ours. That which did not go well for other people, the Bible narrates it all. The Bible has recorded it so that will not do the same. And what went right, those who went, who walked right with God also, has been written in the Bible. We need to pick that, pick the faith of mere humans like us and then learn from Jesus himself. Brethren in the Lord, this is a message for this week or this, this Friday. Jesus wants us to wake up. He wants us to stand in faith and come to him, whatever be the case in prayer. Do not cry, do not complain, do not tell people, too much of your story. Whatever you want to say, say it unto the Lord. He's more than able to hear us, to receive us, and then to lead us through our Christian race. God richly bless you. And if Jesus has not come today, we'll meet tomorrow with your weekend Bible inspiration. God bless you and have a fruitful weekend. Bye-bye.